My name is Natasha. I'm Marina Buerta. Hey, my name is Ali. My name is Talma Dasreis. My name is Noel Apita. I am Gayatri Parameshwaran. My name is Rick Truik. Uh, my name is Ife Oshinkwaya. My name is Lindy Wei Mukwara. I'm Jessica Brillhart. So, my name is Phil Udur. My name is Kiara Gounder. I'm Antoinette Engel. Electric South is a non-profit organization that works across Africa to support artists who want to explore VR and AR alongside their personal practice. And we do that through training labs, production support, um, exhibition, some distribution, and then also grant making. So when I uh, saw the invitation, it, it really procured my interest because it, it stated that we would uh, have all these international and, and national uh, mentors and that we would walk away with a pitch deck that we can use to uh, try and acquire further funding. For, so for me that was interesting. VR for me has hit a wall. It's hard to make this type of media and these types of experiences, but it's a really important time for there to be new ideas, um, different perspectives. A lot of my concepts of what this medium is have been challenged. I'm very used to it being like a tool for advertising or on the other end of the spectrum, a tool for art and just artistic expression. And so coming here and being, having my idea of what XR is be challenged has been amazing because it's just opened my mind to the possibilities. I think the potential for the metaverse uh, in Africa is immense, uh, both economic and social potential. So African creators uh, need uh, immense support to be able to use the latest tools in developing such kind of stories or such kind of experiences that will demonstrate the value of the metaverse for social and economic impact. So when I go to uh, a lot of these international film festivals and uh, creative spaces where works are being exhibited, it's still 80 to 90 percent of the work that's coming from the global north. And labs like this in, on this continent ensure that works, ideas develop into concepts, develop into projects, develop into, you know, pieces that can be shown. So that's really exciting. So the intention behind the African XR Realities Lab is really to offer artists something that we've never been able to do before, which is more advanced digital tools. Um, and we were very excited to be able to add to that volumetric capture as well as photogrammetry. We were really lucky that Scatter, who developed DevKit technology and also the sensors and the hardware that you need to do volumetric capture, came on board um, with support for the lab through um, subscriptions for all of our artists to use their software for a year. Um, each of the artists on the lab received a DevKit sensor together with uh, all of the artists getting a gaming laptop. They now have a full kit to go off and keep experimenting and we hope to see really great results from that. Labs like this that give creatives, especially creatives from non-technical backgrounds, um, the access to technology, to play with it, and then also to take it home. It's so important because it means that now creatives can go back to their own spaces and educate more people in the technology. Either very few people have access to the resources or the resources just don't exist very near to you. I mean, for me, in terms of what I do, there will probably be like uh, two or three people that I know of doing it at the same level in the whole East African region or like East and Central Africa, there's so few. It's so wonderful to be able to operate in a space with like-minded people, but also very open-minded people. Very often you don't get that, um, specifically in the industry that I operate in, and to be in a space where um, that's okay, it's like it's okay to share knowledge, I think that's, that's been amazing. I'd say what's most inspiring about working with this group in particular is just the broad range of people we have here. I think um, just the concepts are all quite different and the storytelling is quite different and the culture where everyone's come from is really quite different. 
and I think being able to see, even though we're teaching similar technologies, the ideas and the stories coming out are completely different, which is really exciting to see.